Hello and welcome to Operation Pay for Drip. I'm Nick McQuick. As always, I'm joined by Uncle Hack. Today, uh, lock up your ladies. We're talking the border crisis. Oh, no. They're coming over the front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be worried all the way up here in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Texas border is letting in migrants and bringing in plane loads of East Indians to Toronto. <laughs> but don't worry, it's so expensive here that they're leaving at their own will. <laughs> that, that is anti-immigration right there. You're like, I just make it unaffordable to live here. Yeah, yeah. What a turn of events. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's bring in hundreds of thousands of them, make it so unaffordable that they're all like, what, what, what the hell did I come here for again? They, they get off the plane, we just hand them a tent and go and yeah. get to Manitoba. <laughs> yeah, go have fun there. Enjoy the winter. Yeah, holy <laughs> Thank God that where we live sucks, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about it. I don't know. I would like to see like what what's the pan what's the marketing going on over in India where they're like you know in all these countries where they're like hey you need to come to Canada I, this this beautiful country that never sees snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know? what it is is when you go to fill out the f paperwork for America on the way out, they say like, "Hey, Canada, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. It's easier to get in here. Yeah. Hey, want to give up on the American dream and just go for like a Canadian nap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you chase the Canadian dream of being a welder in Fort McMurray. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is fun watching the second generation of immigrants turn into like full blown, especially in Alberta, <laughs> watch them turn into like, how's it going, bud? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> that is fun for me. I do like that. <laughs> yeah, when you got the pinder with a lip full of tobacco. <laughs> Never seen an East Indian in a cowboy hat, but I mean, <laughs> Bollywood is really grabbing a seventh gear. That's the other type of uh, cowboys and Indians. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny though, uh, with the, border crisis in America with uh, immigration. They like put out every movie where it's like some guy holding the American flag and a machine gun. It's like, we're the best, we're the greatest. America, rah, rah, rah. And then it's like, why does everybody want to be here? Why do they keep showing up? It's like, because you won't stop telling us how great you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been taunting this heavyweight championship belt in our faces for so long and we want a, a piece of that, you yeah. know? We don't have that. When like I go to a Walmart in America, you walk around, there's flags. America American flags hanging off of the rafters. In Canada, we just have rafters. <laughs> <laughs> you go to America and everybody's so proud of it. And they're like, it's the greatest. And then they're all confused why everybody else wants to participate. Right. And then when you do get there and you realize like, oh, this is just really good marketing once again. Yep. You know, their marketing is just a little bit better and they make it a little harder to get in despite the border crisis, I guess. Yeah. But then it's like, well, this one isn't as good, but the process to get in is much easier. Unless yeah. you just want to storm a gate, a giant wall in Texas. Yeah, just run up against this. Yeah. Um, I have a solution. Oh, okay. I have a solution for the border crisis. Okay. I think you start treating it like a nightclub in Los Angeles, a, a high-end nightclub in Los Angeles, I like right? This. Uh, this is a this there, this is a multi-pronged approach, and we're going to solve a lot of problems <laughs> inside America with my solution. Okay. Okay. So the border guards just got to start acting like they're <laughs> bouncers at whatever. I don't even know any hot clubs in Los Angeles, but. You get what I'm saying? And then they just let in the hot ladies, right? Just let in the sexy ladies at the border, prefer, uh, preferably the ones that aren't carrying children. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that aren't loaded up. Yeah, the ones without baggage, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> male loneliness is skyrocketed in the US, right? And you have passport bros flying to these countries to marry the women anyways. Just let the ladies in. You save yourself a plane ticket to go to Guatemala or wherever the f you were gonna go to try and find uh, one of these like- Philippine, Philippines or Thailand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of these trad wives that they're always f praising about with the red pill community. Then you've solved both, you know? Yeah. Because then like women from these countries aren't gonna tolerate men that sit around and play video games all day. They'll browbeat these guys into like actually going. Now you've solved the workforce, you've solved male loneliness, 
and you've solved immigration all in the same stroke. I don't know why they don't just like grant me citizenship and a green card and allow me to run for president see down there yeah just get that uh, the king of america crown yeah going on. you need you already have a guy whose like iq is depleted from like brain deficiency whatever happenings upstairs in biden why not just have a low iq guy right out of the gate yeah <laughs> you know i'm not going to sit here and tell the american people how great i am and how smart i am I'm one of you. <laughs> I should be a gas station attendant, at best. <laughs> you don't even know what a gallon is. No, I don't even know. I, I, I can't even do the the, the 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 transfer of the the metric systems to. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm fine. You know, I'd be the. I you could go in there. You thought like Trump could talk. I could do the same thing. Oh yeah. I, you've made a living off of talking shit about Justin totally. Trudeau. <laughs> yeah, totally. You don't think I can't do it to a couple like Democratic f candidates? Oh man. Nope. I think you can. Yeah. <laughs> I've cussed a lot in this episode, so the yeah. editor's gonna have a hell of a time with it. <laughs> okay. Well, let all the sexy immigrants in and keep all the filthy uh, whole country people the hell out. Make yeah. Sure to like, subscribe. Uh, there's a comment section. Let us know that we're right. If you want to say anything else, go away. <laughs> Quite honestly, if we're really thinking about it, then they can just go to the here nightclub, and that would be Mexico. There you go. Or Canada. Oh. <laughs> That's Ugh. the dive bar that you have to go to when you don't get let into the luxury club up the street. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need a gardener. I think we can keep our bars. <laughs> yeah. You get to pick that. between a karaoke bar <laughs> or a hotel dive bar because you're not going to the luxury club. Yeah. <laughs>